So my name is Kelly Richardson and my, I'm Canadian and my background, I studied drawing and painting actually in my undergraduate degree and uh, media arts in my uh, masters. The title of the show is The Weathermakers, which is named after a book by Tim Flannery written in 2005 about climate change, which links to ideas I have in a number of the works here. Very generally, what I'm interested in in the work is there's a strong environmental concern uh, about our increasingly uncertain future. And so I, in many works, propose potential futures uh, if we continue down uh, the, our current trajectory. Um, and I use languages of science fiction because uh, Marshall McLuhan said that we couldn't fully perceive current environments until another replaces it. And he used the industrialized world in comparison with uh, agrarian culture as, a, as a, an example. And so given our um, uh, increasingly uncertain future, as I say, there's never been a more important time to consider where we're heading and so the use actually or the function of science fiction, science fiction allows us to uh, visualize or experience what life might be like and in doing so provides a window through which we can see our current uh, uh, environment with some degree of, of hindsight. Leviathan from 2011, I was invited to do a, an artist residency at Art Pace in San, An San Antonio, Texas and the BP oil spill had just occurred in the Gulf of Mexico and I wanted to do something with that but I don't tend to deal specific with specific environmental um, catastrophes or events instead I kind of work around those issues so I wanted to do with that idea something about uh, water contamination and I found a site on the east side of Texas in Uncertain Texas, uh, a little town called Uncertain Texas on Caddo Lake. Um, Caddo Lake is the home of the world's largest cypress forest. Uh, it's very, very beautiful uh, and it also happens to be, have the dubious claim rather, of, um, of being the first site for through water oil exploration in human history, uh, which occurred in 1911. And you know, from 1911 onwards, the various spills that we've had, the world's a very different place uh, as a result of that kind of unchecked um, oil exploration. So into the water in this uh, three-channel kind of extent, extended panoramic view of uh, Caddo Lake, into the water I've inserted these uh, yellow tendrils of light, which could be a number of things. It's important to note that there's always several ways to read the work so the, lands the landscapes that I'm proposing, it could be that you're looking at something that, that is a, a, an environmental disaster of, of, of some description, but it could be that you're looking at something much more hopeful. So in the case of Leviathan, it could just be that, uh, that it's a bioluminant life form that we, we don't know about, that occurred in the past or might in occur in the future, or it could be uh, a spill of some description. A number of the works, well two, uh, Leviathan and Orion Tide in the exhibition are, um, have been produced from existing landscapes, so that they're actually both from West Texas and um, around that area. Uh, and then I've inserted digital effects to shift it into the landscapes or the future uh, landscapes that I'm imagining. In the case of Mariner 9, which is a, a future vision of Mars 100, 200 years into the future, I could have gone to Arizona and, and filmed in Arizona and faked the, uh, uh, pretended that I was on Mars. But I found out that NASA had the top topographical data for the planet and had released that to the public. So theoretically, I could bring that into a 3D program and recreate the lay of the land faithfully, so you really are experiencing Mars. Um, and that's what I endeavored to do. So Mars, unlike, or rather Mariner 9, unlike Leviathan and Orion Tide, is entirely generated digitally. Pillars of Dawn is a series that I've been working on since 2015, which feature uh, landscapes and singular trees, uh, which are entirely encrusted in crystals. And the crystals closely resemble Galena, which is a, um, a form of lead sulfide 
and uh, a source of silver that we've been mining for hundreds of years and poisoning, our, poisoning ourselves in the process. The idea of the prints actually came from uh, a series of, of prints that I, Victorian prints that I have in my personal collection which uh, feature different places on Earth and also of Mars. And there's actually a lot of speculation within those prints as to what those locations look like. So, which reminded me of the process of me trying to visualize what certain scenarios might actually look like. Um, and I wanted to, so the, the inspiration for the prints themselves actually came from these old Victorian prints. People are invited to come up with their own explanations for what they're looking at. I'm, I'm interested in the viewer themselves becoming the main character in these scenarios. It's important for me, for each individual person, regardless of age or background, to visualize themselves in front of these landscapes or within them mentally uh, so that it becomes about their story. Um, and I guess what I want people to take away from it is to question where we're heading and why.